King's Gatewood Gators, I wanted to tune in from the garden to show you one of our newest developments in our learning garden. It is our brand new official learning garden resource library. Thanks to Mr. Gainer's class who did this beautiful artwork on the side, we now have a resource library where we can access a variety of different things. Let me show you. We have a little sign up here that says, I promise to show the gator way by leaving this better than I found it, which means that if we see anything that's out of place, even if it wasn't our mess, we're gonna try to make it as nice as possible. Now, just to warn you guys, this door can snap shut pretty quickly. So you have to be very careful about keeping your fingers outside of it. When you open it up, you will see in the stand here, a little resource exchange. This has seeds, and a recipe book that you can use. So here are some beautiful seeds that uh, Miss Ravello's class as well as Room 19 helped put together. If you want some calendula seeds or some sunflower seeds for your garden, there's some available. And there's also a learning garden recipe book. This is an opportunity for you to share your favorite recipes with the Gatewood community. I put a few of my favorite recipes in. And if you move back to the blank sheets, you can go ahead and grab one and write down your favorite recipe too. If you find a recipe that you really like, have your parent take a photo of it and get that home to you. There are a variety of garden and nature related books to explore while you're in the garden. Go ahead and sit on that picnic table or the bench out there and enjoy it on a sunny day. There is also a garden activity section that has not only some spare clipboards if you're just feeling like coloring, but some fun activities too. Some include labeling leaves, Others include things like crossword puzzles. We've got a little nature walk bingo. We've got some nature observations where we're using all of our senses. We've got some bugs I spy, an I spy for spring, as well as another crossword puzzle, this time flowers. These are just some of the many that are going to be circulating over time. You can take a sheet out of the plastic container and grab a clipboard. There are crayons, colored pencils, and pens inside of the materials bin to be able to use. And then we just put it back as nicely as we can. I'm going to go ahead and slide that in where it was. Slide that back there too. I sure hope you enjoy this resource library. If you see Mr. Gaynor or any of his students, give them a big shout out for painting this up because it is gorgeous because of them. And enjoy. See you later.